What's going on everybody? Crazy Duck here back with another video and today we're going to continue some seeding and yeah let's head out to the field. One thing that they were actually going to do was I'm getting GPS on that um, tractor so at some point in the near future there's gonna be GPS on that tractor because when I'm just free handing this I'm not that good at driving <laughs> in a straight line so yeah I'm gonna get GPS on this at some point but for now we're just gonna continue to seed this field Just trying to do another headland over here. Just make sure that I have room to turn around when I start going up and down the stretches. This is fun seed in this little field here. This, but I do know that I can go to the shop after I'm done seeding this field to get the GPS system put on this tractor. So that's a good thing. That'll be decently soon. Fairly soon, I guess. Oops. <laughs> When it comes to seating in first person, without GPS, I can't turn around. There we go. That part of the field's done. last little piece right there and we are done well if I want to get that GPS on I better probably just leave that right there and let's head into the dealership and see what they can do okay we're arriving back at the, the dealership So they said they're gonna do, they're gonna add the GPS system and it should take about an hour or so, so they said just park the tractor right there, that's what I'll do, and I'll run home and grab my truck and we're gonna go for a drive. Oh, okay. We got to the truck. There, There is a new kind of like truck dealership on the other town. So I think we should go check it out. See what there is. Maybe buy a new truck. 
I probably won't get a truck to replace this one. This truck is really nice. It's I've had it for a long time, so I think I'd still keep this truck. It would be just getting another farm truck if I got a pickup. But I know they have like semi trucks and and stuff like that, so those could be helpful. Oh yeah, here it is. Is that a brand new... That's a brand new truck right there. Well, let's park right here. And let's just take a look around. We got a, a nice Mac here. Looks kind of nice, actually. It's a grain truck. And then a Kenworth. I don't like the color on this truck, but... I mean, it's a decent, like, cool-looking truck. It's still nice. Then they got some trailers. I bet this goes with the green truck, just because color matches, that kind of stuff. Ooh, dump truck. <laughs> this looks actually really cool. It's got, like, gold trim. Then the colors just look awesome on it. Black and red, like, metallic or matte kind of thing. Wait, are these like meant to match or something? Like black and red, just the theme? We had a truck just like this back in our old farm. Just different colors, but that's an awesome truck. It has plow. It's got a plow setup. It has no tailgate or anything. Now this. This is like a brand new Chevy. I don't know what model it is. Avalanche, right? It's a a Chevy Avalanche. So this is pretty brand new, <laughs> new in 2002. Is there anything in here? Ooh, another another Kenworth. This one looks actually really nice. I don't know. I I need to talk to some people before I buy anything. But if I were were to get anything. Something I need is something tall green, so this green truck would actually be pretty nice. And maybe the Kenworth. They've got this big trailer here. I don't know how good it is. Then another trailer. Then just a little, just a little one. This might actually be what we need. It's not super big. Yeah, that would be useful. We'll have to figure out what we're gonna get. I think the people that run it are in there. I'll talk to them. Okay, I just talked to the people and they actually are gonna sell me this grain truck here. This truck just looks awesome. I asked if I could take it for a test drive that's what we're about to do right now. Yeah, just look at the interior is pretty pretty nice in here. Let's oh yeah. Let's just take it for a spin down the road. We'll just see what it can do. Because this is a nice truck. I'm really considering buying it because they said it comes with the other trailer. The trailer's just uh, extra 10 grand, which more grain storage, the better. And then the truck itself is about $60,000 so we'd be looking at about like $70,000 so they said it's like a, about 10 year old truck doesn't have that many miles on it but we'll have to see
I also asked about prices on the one Kenworth, not this one, but the other one in the shop. And they said that it is worth about... It's about... Um, $95,000. And... With a trailer about this big... Well, I, I specifically asked about this trailer, and they said it's about $15,000, so this and the semi would be about, would be $110,000, and then plus the 90, so it'd be about $200,000 for both of them together, but I think we're just gonna probably get the grain truck here for now, depending on how much like we yield and stuff we may want to get something like this so I think we're gonna sign some paperwork get this truck bought and then go pick up our our other tractor okay we got the green truck bought and that trailer so eighty thousand dollars for we still have a good amount of money so I thinking of buying some more land and stuff so that's what we can use that for but let's go hook up this to the trailer okay I think let's just take this home and then I'll run all the way here, grab my pickup, and then we'll go and run to the other dealership and go get the tractor with the GPS. I'll just bring this around over to in front of the bins. Let's go get the truck. <sighs> okay, we're back to the truck. Okay, let's just pull in here. Right about there. That's good. Now let's go get our new GPS tractor. Okay, so we just got back. Oh, it looks pretty much the same. But we got GPS. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. Perfect. We got GPS now. Now we can definitely see a lot faster because I can drive straight and it'll be just a lot more effective. I've already prepaid for it. So, that's all done. Okay, let's hook up to the cedar. I'm gonna go plant some peas over in field 20. And then I'll get some GPS set up because it'll be very helpful. Right here. Because I know that you always want to put in Peas and lentils first, as because they're your pulse crops. You most likely want to plant those first, and then probably, and then things like your cereal crops, like wheat and barley and that kind of stuff. And then probably, and then after that, you do canola. That's what I remember at least. Okay, let's get GPS set up. Let's. 29.5 ish. That should work. And if it doesn't work, then I'll just try again. But there we go, there's the line. There we go. And we're seeding. 
I don't know how much middle that is. Yeah, it's not quite middle, but it'll be fine. And the other one isn't. Probably help to turn on the cedar. <laughs> the width is pretty much perfect. Could be like a little bit lighter, wider, but should be fine. Now I just enjoy seating. Once there's guidance steering and GPS, it's just seating is the most fun thing ever. But when when you have to free line it, I don't know. When it's not a perfect row and I like back and forth a whole bunch, it's just it's not as fun. But once once you can kind of just relax, it's like the best thing in the world. <laughs> Let's do that. Well, I'm going to continue to seed. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode.